basic things. I saw a girl peeing on the sidewalk the other day. That's a New York moment for you. Just fucking, I'm gonna pee right here. She wasn't even homeless or anything. She was just lazy, I guess. Just sitting there with her friend. She just peed on the side. I walked by and there's this girl peeing on the side. Not a little, like an adult. Peeing on the sidewalk. And then I noticed from the corner of my eye, I realized that the, the, the stream of urine seemed to be coming from higher up than I would have thought. And that's when I realized, embarrassingly enough, that I'm not even sure where girls pee from. You know, I'm not exactly sure. Talk about a failure of the public education system. You'd think I would have picked up, I'm not even sure exactly where they pee from, and I've been peed on by women, you know? But, but I'm, usually, uh, I'm usually focused on other things, like, holy shit, how did I get this fucked up, you know? Or, or wow, Puerto Rican girls sure eat a lot of asparagus. But I, I, do you remember the first time you saw a vagina as a dude? Holy shit, when you're a kid and you see a real adult vagina for the first time, like in a magazine, it freaks the shit out of you. I found like a Hustler magazine and there was this girl spread eagled. And I'm looking at it with my friends, I was like nine years old. That is the most horrifying thing you've ever seen in your life. I looked at that, I was like, fuck, this girl's been injured. Holy shit. Why are they taking her picture? Somebody get her to the hospital. She needs to be stitched up or something's gotta be trimmed or what the fuck is it? Does she sit on a landmine? What is going on here? There's such a youth-oriented culture, you know? It's like party when you're young and then later you taper off and you just kind of fucking miserably die and fade away, you know? It should be the other way around. Like, I think the drinking age should be 40. I think you should start drinking at 40 because that's when you need it. You should save it up, build a foundation, and then get fucked up when you need it because, you know, when you're young, life is fine. Later on is when it gets fucking difficult. Like, my life is so much harder now than it was when I was younger. I want to be fucked up now all the time, you know? <laughs> but I can't because now I'm an alcoholic and I can't drink at all because when I do, I end up snorting crystal meth off a switchblade at some after-hours bar thinking, shit, I'm going to be late for my flight in the morning. Except it's like two in the afternoon and the flight was six weeks ago. And you're like, holy shit, how did that happen? You know, save it up. Because, you know, the things... The things you do when you're, when you're young are not that bad anyway. Parties are fun anyway. It's the things later in life that suck. Parent-teacher conferences, that's not so easy. Parent-teacher conferences, finding out your kid's a half a tard. That'd be, uh, that'd be a lot easier with some fat rails and a few shots of Jack in you. Hey, what's that, he can't read? <laughs> well, maybe he's not a reader. <laughs> Reading's not for everybody. Maybe he's just frustrated by the fact that reading seems like such a permanent form of communication. Maybe he's a, maybe he's a visionary. Maybe he thinks the thoughts should be conveyed directly instead of being downloaded in this weird hieroglyphic transcription. <laughs> or sex, you know, he always go out, get drunk to get laid or save it up for later. Later on is when you need the chemicals, you know, later when you've been grudgingly pushing your semi-hard cock into the same woman for 25 years. That's when you need the beer goggles, I would think at that point. Not when you're 18 or 19 and everything's more or less where it's supposed to be. It's later on. Let's face it, fucking old people's disgusting. People always groan at that. It's disgusting to fuck old people. Even if you are an old person, you're still fucking another old person. <laughs> fucking old people is disgusting. I know, because I used to work in a nursing home. And it's, <laughs> it's disgusting. And it's, not, it's worse for women, because now with Viagra, guys are going to want to have sex forever. Can you imagine? Laying there, looking up at the hollowed out shell of the man you married, some broken down old dude with his sweaty, liver-spotted head, just wheezing and... His, Big bushy eyebrows, he's looking down at you, his fucking saggy man tits are flopping around with tufts of gray hair, smacking you in the face like, like two Santa Claus beards tickling your chin as you, as he grinds his bony pelvis in you. Wouldn't that be a nice time for some ecstasy? Wouldn't that be a nice time to start rolling a little bit then, you know? You know, like, yeah, you know, just, shit. Well, this ain't bad at all. His two foot scrotum feels like the tongue of God on my thigh. Uh, what do I know about anything? I don't, I don't know much about women, obviously. Especially attractive women. They have a different sense of the world, you know? A lot of times they don't even understand that the world's much easier, or at least that the world bends over backwards. For I was talking to this girl, and she says, you know, you should just go to Europe. You should just go to Europe. It's so great there, you know? You just meet people. So You just meet people, and they show you around. You know, guys on their motorcycles will show you around. Like, you meet people. Really? Really? Is that how it plays out? 
Is that how it's gonna play out for me, do you suppose, really? I've, I've been to Europe. I don't remember any private tours. I was, I was standing on a lot of sidewalks. I would have pulled up on their Vespa. Hey, come on! Thank you, Giuseppe. The city is beautiful. <laughs> I was uh, talking to this friend of mine, and she said, "You know, it's really hard for women, in a lot of in the in you know in the workplace, in a lot of cases. You know, and there's a lot of discrimination." A, she, said, she was pointing all these jobs out. And there's no, no very few women in this field. Not the pilots. There are very few women pilots, and, uh, and that's true. There's not a lot of women pilots. I noticed I was on a plane the other day, and the pilot came on, and it was a woman. It was a woman's voice. She goes, this is your captain, Captain Johnson. And everybody on that plane, men and women, were like, what the fuck? <laughs> Seriously, put the real pilot on. <laughs> Holy shit, this is a big fancy machine you're driving, Buttercup. This ain't some kind of Barbie's dream car you're dicking around with. But there are jobs that are hard for men to get, too, you know? Bikini waxing jobs for dudes. That's not easy. Damn, here for the job. Pussy waxing or something, what is it? I like pussies, I like wax. I figure, you know, mix them up. I got my tools in a truck. You want me to start right now? There's a uh, Puerto Rican uh, woman who's been nominated to be on the Supreme Court. That's pretty exciting for a lot of people. Not anyone here today, but a lot of people <laughs> get excited. A lot of people get excited about that. I was talking to this guy, this fucking asshole, and the guy says, I couldn't believe the shit that was coming out of his mouth. He says, you know what? I don't know that I'm comfortable with a woman on the Supreme Court. I mean, I don't like when women get jobs like that. You know, I don't like women judges. You know, I just, I mean, it's not, it's just like, you know, what if they have to make a real important decision and they're having their period or something, you know, and they're like cranky or whatever. And, you know, that's, that's, people's lives are on the line. How fucking ignorant is that? Is that the most ignorant shit you ever heard in your life? If she's having her period. Yeah! It's the most ignorant shit I ever heard. She's got to be in her 50s. It's not her period. This woman is... She's definitely been through menopause by now. She's, she's almost as good as a dude now. She's got to be dry as a bone down there. What kind of ignorant asshole... It's like a desert. She might as well have balls. Why, why would you think she wouldn't make a good judge? It's like a guy because there's no more bleeding. <laughs> when they named her, uh, you know, she, to the court, she said that getting uh, nominated to the Supreme Court was, was the most humbling experience of her life. Humbling. People always say that kind of thing at the wrong time. You know, humbling. This was so humbling. Well, they actually mean exactly the opposite. Oh, yeah, having the President of the United States call you up personally and ask you to be on the Supreme Court, that's a real kick in the face, huh? Holy shit, that really took me down a notch. Why don't you shit down my throat, Mr. President? I did a show once, and this super hot girl came up to me after, and she goes, I really, I want you to call me. Give me a call. And she gave me her business card. I was psyched, you know. I thought, holy shit, this is nice. You know what I mean? Take the card, and I looked at it, and it said escort on it. Escort. That was humbling. I mean... On a lot of levels, because you're like, shit, obviously she's not that into me, you know? And, uh, and also, she's got a business card, and I don't. You know, what kind of, what kind of career-oriented hooker walking around with a business card? Holy shit, I can't get a business, I can't get it together enough to head down to the printers and get a business card made. She somehow has time between buying cocaine and nipple salves or whatever she needs. You know, ointments and... All the gels, they always need, they need gels. <laughs> she has a, a hooker with a business card. You think she throws it in the fishbowl at Fuddruckers hoping to <laughs> win a free lunch for the whole whorehouse? <laughs> Desiree, I want us appetizers. We're all going to... Desiree, what, don't fill up on cock. We have a free lunch coming. You're going to fill up on cock? up on cock. <laughs> Texting is a technology that I never would have anticipated catching on the way it did. Huh? Holy shit. I tried to fight it. Now I'm just like everybody else. I'm walking around like a crack addled praying mantis 24 hours a day. <laughs> hey, shit. Hey, what are you up to? What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just uh, sitting here having lunch with you. Oh, ha, ha, LOL. 
that, that's fine. What are you going to order, LOL? LOL, how fucking... Are we really as happy as a country... Are people really laughing out loud as often as they say that? Because that would be one fucking psychotic...